Hello, everybody. I'm back again. Yeah, I'm back again. Just want to show you here in Florida. Two there, one here, one here. There's a bunch of them right here. Okay, see them all popping on and off right there? That's all within one, two, three, four, about four hours worth. And you know, I can't swear to it. This is a, a lake, a big lake. And it's giving me the optical illusion. But those two right there are real close to the lake. But I was looking at it a little while ago, and I could have swore. Uh, that I seen one in the water. Maybe it's the flickering. What's going on around it, or the clouds weaving, rumbling around in it, and they're showing a dark spot, and it's not nothing. Yeah, like there. It's just a dark spot. It doesn't mean... It's just a different shadow of the cloud, that's all. And we just got an update. Run through it one time so we get a good image. You see them popping off in there. There's no joke about them. These are here. Now, the ones that we had last night and today, going back to look, we're not there. This morning, let's see if they're there today. I mean, now. I don't see nothing. So, for sure, we know that ain't right. So, let's go back to our map. Now, you see all of them down here in South Florida. Got a couple of them up here that I didn't see on the map. But I did see these. See nothing of these because they're all gone. They're all orange now. And, basically... You know what I mean. Now, down here, there's a railroad track going right through the middle of it from one corner of the square to the other corner. And then you got two going through this one, one going through that one, that one, and one through that one. Now, these down here are all on farmland, folks. And I mean farm farmland and i'm gonna be quite honest with you i've lived in florida all my life and i have never seen this much tracked farmland before in my life I, I ain't i mean since i started doing this i'd have thought this would wouldn't have been farmland by no shape of the means but it is. Now, this one here has no railroad track. Okay. But there is a railroad track close, which is here. It stops there. The airport over there. And earlier today, or a little while ago, there is a power line 
right there. And I think what we're going to have to do, let's go down to the street view, see what kind. There we go. And let's go forward a little bit. Okay, yeah, I see it now. It's high voltage power. It's not a lot. It's not a great, great big one, but that is a high voltage power line. And as you see, huh. oh, that was crazy. Took me way further away than I wanted to be. I'm looking for that other power line wires. Well, that ain't it. Should cross the road here somewhere. But it ain't. It dead ends right there. That's strange. Let's get out of the street view a minute. And yeah. There's something right there. What if that's a transformer? Oh, man. What? Really? They got something behind this fence right here. It looks as if it's all grown up right there. And I think that's what's going to that power pole up there. I can't. Let's move forward just a little bit more if it'll let me. Without going 300 miles away. Yeah. It's got three fuses in there. There's a transformer down here. Somewhere by in this fence area, there's something down in there. It's all grown up, but there's something down in there that they let and grow up. They don't want nobody to know it's in there, I don't reckon. But that pole has got a lot of high voltage. That, there's four lines in there, as you can see. One, two, three, and four. So, And you got three fuses. Those things right there, that. That and that is a fuse. Um, so, what happened? Are you kidding me? Come on now. I hit it. You're supposed to take me out. There you go. All right. Now, that, that high voltage line is running across the line here, road. And it goes straight through this this area. You can see the poles right there. Did it turn back there? I don't see no more poles. What happened to the poles? That must have turned. It was in it and then turned out. Oh, it did. Try there. Turn going down the other way of it. See it right here? So it turned. And it goes all the way through it. Yeah, see the pole? So it's going all the way through this one. And once we straighten this out... Go back down here and look for our pole again. Well, yeah. Let's see if we got some further down here.
Nope. A reason why I was doing that is so I could show y'all if there was a power line that come down here that went in here, but because I know that this one did not have anything here. There's no houses. All you see are square plotted pieces of property with big water ditches around them. Now, there's a couple of places that I found highways with the ditches on both sides of the highway. And that's basically what they are. It's nothing but highway uh, with a ditch in it. Now, these up here, you see, they we've already got railroad in them. Okay. And there's a high. Pretty sure that's. Yeah, right here. Be another high voltage power line. Double line. This is a big one. And it runs all the way through it. Oh, it don't go through the rest. What's going on here? Let's see. Oh, it turns. So it makes a big major turn. It's going across the top edge. It's going across here. Going across this one. Keeps going. Is there any more? Yep. There's another one. High voltage line is right at the top edge. See it right there? So it's full of high voltage power lines. Now, that one up there. Um. That's a big piece of property right there. I'm assuming that's the main headquarters for the farming group that runs this place. Because this is a corporate this is a corporate entity right here, folks. Railroad right there, railroad line. And see some of this stuff is strawberries. Some of fruit, uh, oranges. Uh, I'm assuming that some of the other stuff is something else. And then here you see this is still the high voltage power line coming through here. Let's see if we hook up anywhere else with any more red. Nope. Disappears out there. Now these down here. Like I was telling y'all earlier, just plain farmland. There's no buildings. They got these ditches. And they got them going in all kinds of directions. All of these. That's a ditch, too. It's like they got so much property blocked in, and then it's got a ditch in the middle. With culverts in between, so the water can flow through it and feed the the farm. Which is, guys, this is these are large farms. You talking large? We know that these right here are what were they? Two miles across? A mile and a quarter across. That's just a mile and that's a mile and a quarter right there. This right here is a mile and a quarter both ways. So you got a mile and a quarter square. That's big. Just a mile and a quarter is huge. You got me? Oh, you see how much farmland that is. Let's see how far how far it goes for if we're going way up here. This other hot spot, and then we drive straight on down. That's 20 miles of farmland right there. That's 20 miles or 18.5. That's a lot of damn farmland. 
and it's going to be even further on the cross beam. That's 30 miles across right there. 30 miles of nothing but farmland. You know, I knew we had farmland here, but I thought most of it was cattle here. No joke. I really did. Oh, yeah. And by the way, these are showing up. 765 Kelvin. Should have showed you that on the top ones, too. 850 Kelvin. Let's go down on these. These, these look pretty red, too, and pretty new. But look, nothing. Closest looking something that's there is this. And all that is is farm equipment. It's a place to park the farm equipment for whatever they're doing here. Now this is some kind of, I don't know what that is. I guess that's a pump maybe to run the water in these lines or switching level or some sort because this is they designed this to be like this guys all that's water all of these lines are water they're ditches i mean they got this shit laid out buddy i mean they got it laid out it runs into big long tracks oh remember the road i told you about water water don't believe me right and a high voltage power line. Okay. High voltage power line. One, two, three, four, five lines. Water. It's a big culvert water. It's across the road. And look at there. More water. It's water. They're ditches. And it goes right down side the, 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 the highway on both sides. It does. And that's what we've been seeing on them, the other things on the farms. That's what those are. This big ditch and these little ditches are all fed off of these bigger ones. See? There you go. A little road going over it. There's got to be something going in there to feed this. Some kind of culvert or something to feed all of these ditches. Switching stations. Uh, this looks like a, a, a swampy area. This is, might be what's actually feeding all of the farm. Is the swamp area right there? I don't know, but it's huge. It's a huge irrigating system they got going on in there. That's huge. Uh, now I didn't see any. I didn't see nothing here to a uh, high voltage power line of any sort. Don't even see uh, I don't even see nothing to even call something to be fed down in there. Seven hundred sixty five Kelvin. This one neither. Seven hundred forty nine Kelvin. But now they are close to the banned power line that's coming down this highway. Remember that there's a highway right here. There's a high voltage power line right there. So they're not far from there. Uh Sorry, guys, I'm starting to sound like crap. To the center point, that's a mile and almost a half, a mile and a half. 
to that one. And this one is 2.5 miles. And this one's three, three, mile, three miles. So there's high voltage power lines here all around the area. But it's within three miles, which y'all know me. I'd rather it be on there because to me that doesn't seem like a whole lot of proof in my opinion. That's just my opinion. It's not meaning that it can't be doing it. It's just my opinion. I'd much rather it be there. And I do believe Yep, high voltage power line right there. But it goes away, don't go into anything other than bypassing the farm. And more of these ditches. Oh my God. Look at that. Three stacks, three towers. Look at that. Three of them. High voltage. We got another one over here. Now that right there's crazy. I'm not sure what the hell that is on either one of them other than maybe humps to run these dams. I mean, um, some kind of pump to fill up these, uh, all these canals. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. Guys, that right there is kind of out there. Just a tad. Wow. You see the high voltage power lines right there. Here's the line. I'm starting to think of something real strange about them power lines and the water lines and it following the water lines. Oh. Uh, some kind of new way to source energy.
a crap load of power going down here. Holy crap, not a four. One, two, a four, three, three legged tower. One split in here. Splits. These keep going straight. That one's over there now. Uh, now it's coming back. This is somewhere you wouldn't want to work right here, folks. Oh, that's a boat dock. All the boat trailers getting into the little ponds or little creeks. This is somewhere right here. You wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to visit there very long. Too much high power. Too much too much power. Okay, there's a big switching station. Still got these two going down. I don't see the power on this side. Oh, there it is over there. What is this? It's a dam. Is that a dam? That's a damn dam. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. It ain't a very big one, but. I'm just trying to find the source of the power now, guys. Freaking me out. Okay, another substation, super substation. Two links. Looks like this one's fairly new. And I'm going to be chasing this thing forever, it looks like. Oh, wow. It comes up, makes another twist, and then goes over this way. It's got to be a generating station somewhere now. Yeah, we done been a hundred miles. Oh, 
Oh my God. All these people are in danger. Every one of them. Then it crosses right through here. Oh, there it is right here. Going straight or is it turning? We got some going straight and we got some turning. Wow. Well, another switching station. Well, I guess we done. Wow. Keeps on going. Another switching station. Jesus. Where are we at anymore? Holy crap. We went a long way. Look how far we went. We followed all of them lines from here. All the way up there. Wow. Wow. That's crazy right there. That's just crazy. And then all of these ditches and the rail lines that are all in here. All these black lines are rails. It's the railroad. See? So you get a good idea. See, I, that's a railroad. That's a rail line. They going in there to load up on crops. With trains. Well, you saw what I saw. There is some high voltage power lines in there. All of these down here are reading. Well, that one don't. How about that? 590. 460. Nothing. 625, 8.03, nothing, 5.90, 5.20, 5.52, none, 5.75, 7.49, 8.51 and 7.65. And this one, none. Y'all see it. None. None. So the ones that read none, I'm going. I'm starting to think that they're nothing. Maybe lightning hit. That's the reason why it says unknown. Could have been a little bit, a little bit of heat lightning or something of that effect. And these other ones are actually producing something. A longer period of time, but I'm not gonna roll out that it's not heat lightning for that too. The other ones might not be anything. I don't know what they are. I know I can't prove nothing on them. I went to I went to all of these right through here. I went. On, I was on this road. I went through this one, this one, this one, and this one. Then I come back and turned up here on the road and I went down through all of those. 
oh, well, except for in the water. And then I come back and I went up here when I got back and I had to take my better half to the doctor. And we come down through here. So we went through this one, this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, that's the road. And I was here playing with frequencies and uh, all kind of things to get some kind of reading that might give me some uh, indication of what it is. I took my meters with me. And I mean, of course, I had, you know, frequency, but not not nothing that was off the chart or anything could cause any problems. OK, I mean, not that I could see anything from, but we were right. I was right in here. I was actually parked right there. Pretty much. Yeah, I was parked right there. Now, there's a walkway right there. I was parked right there. <laughs> You can't see that, but that's where I was at today. And that's all I can, that's all I see. And since the hurricane has come across here already, y'all have done seen that, right? See y'all, this is the map or showing it going all the way through. It's all the way up into the next state already. That thing is really kicking some serious butt flying across the state. And, you know, I heard some talk about uh, uh, n n low temperatures, extremely low, unnormal temperatures. Never happened in history this low. And that's some craziness. Uh, and it's supposed to meet up with a storm up in here. Makes with all this storm and may cause some serious ice storms. More ice on the ground than than for this time of year ever. Uh, and they're talking about the Arctic's not freezing. Now, hey, if any of that's true, uh, along with what we've been seeing already with natural phenomena going on with these black hot spots um, and the uh, you know the North Pole's not freezing should have done been froze in October and it's not froze even though the temperature's at zero degrees and the water not froze. Hmm. Sounds a little odd to me. Uh, I don't know that. I can't prove that. I'm just telling you what I'm hearing from what I've been reading in some places. But if that's true, we might have an issue. Uh, we're not having global warming that's for damn sure uh we'd be having a nice age but that could be another reason why like this hurricane that we're looking at is forming in the wrong place instead of in africa and coming across the atlantic and it's forming in the gulf uh, we've had several storms to form down there this year which is Hey, I'm 60 years old, and I've never seen it. I'm always watching storms because I've been doing it since I was a kid because of hurricanes. Uh, I was a little kid when Dora come through here, and it hit in Jacksonville, and I was a little kid, and that did something to me. I don't know what it did, but I've always been interested in storms since then. I mean, I wasn't scared. I wasn't unhappy. Nothing happened. But uh, don't touch the walls. The walls will start leaking. I mean, all kinds of craziness that was said. And, I mean, it's like 
you know, when you touch a tent, remember back in the day when you touch a tent, you touch it and it start leaking. Well, they thought the house walls would start doing the same thing. If you touch the walls, the walls would leak. That's how confused they were, I'm assuming. Or that's what they told me. I was a kid. How the hell I know? I think I was two, maybe three. I wasn't very old. I was little. But I remember bits and pieces of that. And it's kind of weird. I mean, I remember. And then they talking about this storm. And then we got rotations in two places. We got the one going up that's coming out of the Gulf. And then we got one that's coming down. That's also spinning over to the left over there on the top of the top part of Texas. You see that? Two storms. One's pulling off the other. And that over there is where the cold, the cold stream, that cold jet stream that's coming down is. That's kind of weird, folks. All of it's weird. Everything's going on is weird. There's some reason or occurrence for all of this. And I hate to say it, but I do believe that someone is modifying something somewhere. Who that is, I couldn't tell you. But I do know that in 2025, they're supposed to have control of the weather. And what's the best way for them corporate bastards? To control you. One. A roll up your sleever. Two. Food. If they control the food. And they can control your health. Who wins and who loses? Just asking a question. Leave the answer in the comment section below. If they rule your weather, and that means they rule your food, and they rule, rule your health by a roll up your sleever, and plagues, who wins and who loses? Just asking. Please answer the question. And from my cold, dead hands, and I damn well mean it. I abolish corporate government for your freedoms. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful day tomorrow. And I hope that I'm wrong. But if I ain't, hey, get you some groceries ready. Because I believe that somebody is fixing to take a big, large dump all over us. And our umbrellas is not going to catch this. It's going to get on us. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a good night. Can't speak freely. You're simply not free. That means you're a slave. No doubt. Much love.